Hey, and this afternoon we're beginning the day today with some partly cloudy skies out there and starting to heat up quite a bit too across the region, but I still am looking for showers and thunderstorms, although the overall coverage will be less today than where it's been the last couple of days. It's 90 degrees right now. Dew point of 73 feels like 98. Not too bad at this thought shower with some calm winds out there. North of the lake still in the upper 80s from 88 in Hammond to 89 degrees in Slidell. 90 from Gonzales to Baton Rouge and almost there from the home back to Bell Chase and a little cooler as you get down to the coast. Feel like temperatures based Basically in the upper 90s to around 100s across the metro area, mid 90s as you get to the North Shore. So it's a little toasty, but we can handle this. It's been a lot hotter this summer in many places. Now I feel like temperatures kind of holding steady near the 100 degree mark. I feel about three o'clock, and that's when I think we'll start seeing those storms popping in. And so I feel like temperatures drop along with those temperatures in general. Now we are going to see those fewer storms today, but again, tropical waves coming in for tomorrow. That is going to be our weather maker as we head into the upcoming weekend, bringing us some deep tropical moisture that could lead to some heavy rain Friday through the Sunday time frame. It could deal with some street flooding and other flooding issues around southeast Louisiana. Now for today, not the case. We're still looking at those upper 80s to lower 90s. Here come those storms 3 to 5 o'clock today, about a 40% chance, so much lower than the 70 80% we've had the last couple of days. Right now, live radar, quiet weather, Mississippi coast to the north shore, a few showers in the metro area, more stormy conditions down to the south. You can see here in town, one little lone shower not too far from Marrero may try to cross the river, get to the uptown area with a couple of sprinkles here and kind of the lake boundary kind of sitting right along Interstate 10 at this point. If we can get some storms to get closer to that, that may help to spark off a few more of those. But right over the lake looking pretty good, at least at this hour and across the causeway. A couple showers in Desalman, La Rose, Galliano area, all of this light rain. But still with that heating the day, we'll see more of these thunderstorms popping up. And I think having more of the sunshine today heating us up as well too. High pressure east of us drawing up that southerly wind, making that humidity go up. And then deeper moisture from the tropical wave is just down to our south. This mass of clouds is that tropical wave here. Not organized at all, not expected to develop in anything, which is good. But you do kind of see a little circulation kind of well south of Houston here. Looking at water vapor, put the wind streams on it to kind of highlight where it is still. This is in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, not the ground level or surface. And we need the surface level for it to be a tropical system. And we don't have that, which is good news. But all of this basically is working its way northward. And what it'll do is take all that deep tropical moisture and spread it up our area starting tonight into tomorrow, continuing through the Saturday time frame. And this goes all the way into Sunday, really lingering into Monday too. So what that means is any kind of rain that we get could be a heavy rainmaker out there from this system. Now it's being steered by high pressure off the eastern seaboard. That's why it's coming our direction. Again, not expected to become a tropical system, but of course we'll keep an eye on it as we do any system in the Gulf this time of year. But heavy rain Friday through the Sunday time frame. You can see this is a mid-level rotation. There is that little upper level low kind of working its way toward our coastline and heading into Louisiana as we get into the Sunday Monday time frame before it kind of moves away from us. So it is going to increase our chance for rain and we could essentially pick up here with that system alone two to five inches of rain from the city to the coastline. Heaviest totals down along the coast. That's why there's a marginal risk for excessive flooding for flash flooding for tomorrow. So we'll see that with the heavier rainfall potential there for today. Just a few of those showers kind of popping up from lunchtime to three o'clock this afternoon, tapering off by six o'clock tonight overnight, fairly quiet. And then tomorrow there you can see those storms starting to develop at one o'clock and some more heavier downpours with these storms for Friday. Notice it's not widespread, but any rain that falls will be very heavy as we get into tomorrow. That'll continue into the evening hours. And then as we head into Saturday, another round of some heavy rain potential across the area with that upper level low moving by. And so all of that could accumulate to that couple of inches. So stay weather aware Friday, Saturday and Sunday with the heavy rain threat and watch out for some street flooding. But temperatures will only be in the 80s.